Hello, my name is Noel George Whelan. Today I want to talk to you about international terrorism. I want to talk to you about the implications of terrorism on our societies and our country, cultures and countries. First of all, I want you to understand when we're countering terrorism, the phenomenon of terrorism, we need to break it down from terrorism to terrorists, terrorize and terrorists. Terrorism comes in all types of shapes and guises. Usually we have groups, state-sponsored terrorism, we have individual lone wolf terror. What we really want to understand is how do we counter terrorism and I want to try and break some of that down for you today. There are many different nationalities in the world, there's many different countries and each of those countries usually has its own international definition of what terrorism is and what it is not and usually it's subjective to that country itself. However, how can we build an international response when all countries in the world don't agree on one unified definition? So where does that leave us? We need to look at now as organizations, individuals, governments, countries, and business, how we're actually gonna cope with terrorism as we move forward into the new age. We've already seen that when we look at terrorism and the acts of terror, terror is brought down into two functions, two strategies. One is to bring fear and a high level of fear and anxiety into our societies. How do we cope with that? Well, I want to help you remove fear from terrorism from today. So what do we do? We need to look at terrorism and ask ourselves, we make mistakes when we miscalculate or underestimate terrorist capabilities and organizations. We need to also accept that when it comes to international terror and global terror, with the use of technology, terrorists are usually three to four steps ahead of us anyway, and it's usually playing catch up. So how can we look inside the heads of 7.2 to 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet, whichever centers you look at for those numbers, and say we can tell exactly what they're doing. Usually we come across terrorism when it's already happened, by the action which horrifies people but if we're lucky and we have very good armed forces and police forces around the world who actually get in with the intelligence in front and actually deal with and counter the problem but sometimes they get through we all have our role to play so you me we together have to have a new way of dealing with this phenomenon because terrorism is a phenomenon it's a political activity and it's been with us a very long time even though we have great big weapons and great big uh, for example this ship here in the harbor weapons, tools, equipment, fine soldiers and resources that deploy around the world, but terrorism is a different type of strategy. It's a terrorism that attacks the people on the streets. Now, when we look, we have to understand that we can't miscalculate terrorism. We can't underestimate them. We do this at our own peril. Two, when we look, we need to understand that terrorism are usually three steps ahead of us. They're ahead of the international community because they don't announce their plans. The more secrets they keep, the more capability they have to carry their attacks. We have to be more observant, get better use of technology, better use of strategy, and really getting to grips what the phenomenon of terrorism is. We also need to look at the realization that terrorism needs the media. It's a great companion. The companionship is to sell bad news. Terrorists draw legitimacy by using the media to justify their aims and objectives. We need to be aware of that and deal with the media and learn how we can stop the use of the media for punishing or for pushing aims and objectives out and terrorists using that medium for success. We also need to understand that terrorism do has geopolitical aims. They plan quite a lot in advance. We need to also understand that they are master manipulators and they will intimidate us if we let them. So I want to talk to you about my new online program coming out, Teen Counter Terrorism. should be online in the next two to three weeks. I'm hoping you will join me and help us counter the real phenomenon that is international and global terrorism. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.